RNZ Nick Monroe youth activists, who called on government to do a better job in combating the climate crisis, organized marches throughout country on Friday. School Strike for Climate and Fridays for Future wanted New Zealand to halve his emissions by 2030 and switch to completely renewable agriculture. They also asked government to give priority to the Tiriti centred climate action and reduce voting age 16. Look at the photos from today's protests in our gallery. In Christchurch, a crowded, led by school students, shouting banners and slogans demanding emergency climate action and marched in the center of city. School strike for Aurora Garner Randolph, one of organizers of Climate Tortahi, said group wanted a more radical climate action than municipal council and government. He said that an important project against the group was the new international airport proposed in Taras in Middle Oto. RNZ racer Almeida in Wellington about 1,000 people marched from Civic Square to Parliament. 13-year-old Yaya was one of the many young people on the climate strike in Wellington and that his school supported him to skip him. Many people from school participate in this climate action, so we really get support from the school and do things to support our environment in school. In Auckland, hundreds of people, including Green Party co-chair Myama Davidson, and Deputy Chloe Swarbrick, gathered at Victoria Park after a protest in front of the municipality Auckland. Adults were well represented in the country-wide protests, and a woman in Auckland said that wide participation would allow the government to take action. I think we'll think that when you see how passionate young people and the elderly are, maybe there is something in this. Climate strike organizers said they were determined to continue the movement until the demands were met.